Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei channel. In this video, I will cover everything a beginner needs to know about animation and keyframing in HitFilm. Before we begin, if you want to learn more about HitFilm while getting really awesome tips and tricks that you can instantly use in all of your HitFilm projects along the way, subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon for notifications. Tutorials come out weekly. In HitFilm, animation refers to anything that changes over time, not just movement. For example, this could refer to changing a layer's transparency over time, having its color shift over time, or increase size over time. Almost all properties of a layer can be animated over time using keyframes. Keyframing is the simplest form of animation. It is based on the notion that an object has a beginning state or condition that then changes over time to some different final form. By default, without keyframing enabled, changing a property will change it for the entire duration of the layer. For example, if I move this layer to the right, it will cause it to remain in that new position for its entire duration. If I want a property to change over time, however, for example, having a layer move from left to right over five seconds, I would do this using keyframes. The timeline is built of multiple frames. A keyframe is a special frame which stores additional information about a change to a property value. Keyframes are turned off for all properties by default. To turn on keyframing for a property, simply click the gray circle to the left of the property name. Every time you change a setting in HitFilm, if keyframing is enabled, a keyframe is placed on the timeline at the playhead position. Keyframes contain information about the changes you make. You can also add a keyframe without changing the settings by hitting the toggle keyframe icon. The shortcut is Alt plus T. Note that this will also remove a keyframe if there is already one in place. You can also remove a keyframe by simply deleting it. The default timeline view shows all of your keyframes. Each property has its own row on the timeline and keyframes are displayed here as gray icons. By hitting the shortcut U key, you can see every property that has keyframes set. Here is how that works. Press the U key on your keyboard and all properties on the timeline which currently contain keyframes will be open to display their keyframes. Press U a second time and all properties whose values have been edited will be displayed even if there are no keyframes present. Press U a third time and the timeline display reverts to its original formatting where all properties are available whether or not they have been edited. Note that this view makes it easy to see how keyframes relate to each other. In this case, I can see that the opacity of the layer changes while the layer moves position. However, there is no way at a glance to see the value of each keyframe without moving the playhead and checking the numerical display on the left or actually observing the layer in the viewer. That is where the value graph comes in. You can view the value graph simply by clicking on the value graph icon. The value graph displays the details for the currently selected property. At a glance, you can see how the value graph changes over time without needing to move the playhead. In the case of the position property, for example, there are two lines plotted, one for the X position, red, and one for the Y position, green. 
The graph here shows that the layer is moving from left to right while also dropping lower in the frame before rising back up again. This information is not available in the default timeline view. The angle of the graph shows the speed of the value change. A steeper angle shows a faster animation. However, because the value graph can only display a single property at a time, it cannot be used to directly compare multiple properties. So for example, if I wanted to see the opacity keyframes, I would first have to select it in the layer list. Once you have created several keyframes, it can be useful to quickly move between them on the timeline. You can do this using the previous and next keyframe controls at the top of the timeline. This will jump your playhead between keyframes for the currently selected properties. The shortcuts for those actions are Alt plus comma to jump to the previous keyframe and Alt plus the full stop key or period key to jump to the next keyframe. You can also double click on a keyframe to jump the playhead to exactly that position on the timeline. Actively selected keyframes can be moved along the timeline with a simple click and drag. You can select a keyframe simply by clicking on it. Also, you can box select a keyframe as well. If you want to select multiple keyframes, you can box select more than one simultaneously. You can move multiple selected keyframes by clicking and dragging just like you did with a single selected keyframe. Also, after selecting multiple keyframes, you can shrink or stretch the distance between those keyframes by selecting one of the end keyframes, holding down the Alt key and dragging it backwards or forwards. All properties have temporal animation available if you want to utilize it. This is how animation happens over time during all the frames between one keyframe and another. By adjusting the temporal interpolation, you can alter how the animation plays out between the keyframes. Linear interpolation interpolates from one keyframe to the next without any smoothing. In other words, the value changes by the exact same amount on every frame. Smooth interpolation allows the size of the value change per frame to get smaller as the keyframe approaches, resulting in a gradual adjustment into and out of a keyframe. Smooth in has the smoothing only occur to the left of the keyframe with a linear interpolation occurring out of the right. Smooth out has the smoothing occur to the right of the keyframe with a linear interpolation occurring out of the left. Constant interpolation has the keyframe's value held as a constant until the next keyframe is reached. In other words, there is essentially no interpolation at all. Manual Bezier interpolation allows you to define the curve of animation yourself by manipulating the Bezier handles. Those keyframes have two handles which can be adjusted to change the angle of the temporal curve. This gives you the most control over exactly how the temporal interpolation occurs. In addition, by right-clicking on the keyframe, you can lock the temporal control points, forcing the handles on each side to move in conjunction, or you can unlock them and freely move each handle on its own. A layer's position property also has an additional spatial element. This is how the property changes in space, which is separate from how it changes over time. The animation of a layer in space is displayed using a motion path. This is actually drawn onto the viewer and shows the path taken by the layer over time. The motion path can be toggled on and off by clicking this icon. The spatial interpolation of 
any given keyframe can be adjusted by moving these handles. You can also right click on any given positional keyframe to change the type of spatial interpolation to either linear, auto, or manual. I hope this quick overview of animation through keyframing in HitFilm has helped you. If it has, please click the like button and again think about subscribing to my channel for more tips and tricks to help you create the best video content that you can. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Otherwise, thanks for watching.